Hi everyone. Welcome to today's session on OBJ Nuggets. Today we discuss a very interesting topic, something that even I learned very late in my residency and something that I found very very useful whenever I started operating on ectopic pregnancies after learning this point. So as you all know that there are various types of ectopic pregnancies and the most common ectopic pregnancy are the tubal ectopic pregnancy. of them the ampullary ones are the ones which are the ones which rupture the earliest and are also the most common whereas the ones that rupture the latest or rather which can even go up to 10 to 12 weeks of gestation are the interstitial or what we can also call as a cornual ectopics so they are those ectopic pregnancies in which the pregnancy is situated in the junction between the uterus and the fallopian tube over here over here yes so this is a rough representation of an ectopic pregnancy now the reason being this pregnancy is also included in a part of the uterine musculature in the part of the uterine myometrium which includes it itself and whenever it ruptures there is ek to this part is so thick that it can sustain the pregnancy till almost 10 to 12 weeks unlike the ampullary or uh, or the isthmic ectopics which rupture by 6 to 8 weeks of gestation but the downside of this is that though it is giving me a longer window to diagnose this pregnancy but whenever this pregnancy ruptures it is going to lead to torrential bleeding it is going to be a lot of hemoperitoneum in a very short period of time so we have often learnt that uh, it is and we have often pinned the blame on the fact that the myometrium which is very thick there is the one that is the main culprit behind this massive torrential bleeding but there is something there was one nice fact that i got to know later and that was there is a nice artery that goes along this end over here like this this is the artery that goes along with the round ligament and the name of that artery is samson's artery it is something that is very inconsequential and something that we don't really read about it is actually formed by the anastomosis between the between the uh, ovarian artery which comes from here and the uterine artery which comes from here so it is formed by the anastomosis of these two but this and it's a very thin artery but the significant role that it plays is though it is something that is just spurting a little amount of blood and it is not a massive uh, is not a major massive bleeder the point of discussion here is that while doing this ectopic pregnancies repair whenever i am doing an exploratory laparotomy or doing a laparoscopic lip repair after i am done resecting this segment after i am done resecting this entire segment of the ectopic this area still keeps on bleeding so i tend to think that what should i be doing the more stitches i take the more that area becomes friable and the more it bleeds so all you have to do is to take a long the first stitch itself rather than attempting multiple stitches just take a nice long stitch in this area take a nice figure of eight stitch in this and inside this take the round ligaments origin from the uterus the moment you do this this is the point if i'm going to show it on this end this is going to be the point where the round ligament originates on the uterus the moment you like it this end with a nice long stitch the major bleeder in that area the samson's artery also gets ligated and hence those tiny oozes that keep on showing up whenever you take those stitches are ligated and you don't need to take multiple stitches and it really saves your operative time and the frustration that you can encounter because of the bleeding obviously because of lots of hemoperitoneum lots of blood loss that has already occurred he might be in a state of disseminated intravascular coagulation so you have to give her blood products if essential it does not discount the fact that without correcting them the bleeding won't stop but this is one trick that will help you next time you have a cornual ectopic that whenever this ruptures just try taking a nice stitch around the origin of round ligament for the samson's artery you will see significantly better outcomes in shorter amount of time hope you like this lecture thank you